Let's learn how to save money on our makeup and beauty products. Let's learn some hacks to make our products go further. And let's find out if this month's BoxyCharm is the last BoxyCharm I'm going to receive. Stay tuned. This video might be a little long, but if you like to save money, you don't want to miss it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are at the fifth installment in Frugal February. I'm Mona. This is About Face with Mona. And we talk everything mature beauty here. Skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and how to get the best bang for your buck. Whether that's in-depth, no BS product reviews, or hacks to save money and get the most out of the products that you do buy. My new upload schedule is Sundays and Wednesdays and when I have time I throw in a third video as often as possible. So if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? It's free. Press that subscribe button. While you're at it, ring the notification bell. That way you're alerted every time a new video is uploaded. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. I get those too. I'm not for everybody. So today's video is all about saving money on beauty products, makeup and skincare, and how I go about doing that. So the first thing I wanna mention is Rakuten. Rakuten is my number one way to save money on makeup. It's a rebate program. You can download the app on your phone. You can install it in your computer. You use it for online purchases and you can use it for in-store purchases. You get a percentage back on every purchase that you make at participating stores. I thought this was a scam and a gimmick and therefore I missed out on a lot of savings over the years. I actually finally was convinced when I saw Dr. Dre talking about it on one of her videos. I said, well, if it's recommended by Dr. Dre, it's probably not a scam. And I'm so thankful that I saw that video and I downloaded the app and added it to my computer. The way this works is when I'm shopping, I go through Rakuten. Pull up my Rakuten app. I look at what stores are offering rebates. These are rebates on purchases that you're already making. So for example, this past weekend was Valentine's Day. All the stores in Rakuten were offering 14% rebates. Any place that I shopped, I'm gonna get 14% of the total amount spent back. So that's like getting 14% off right off the top. It doesn't interfere with other offers that are out there. So if you have a coupon, you have other savings, like when Ulta offers $350 off, plus you're getting an Ebate, you can save a really good bit. In the description below is my Rakuten referral code. If you go through that, it supports my channel because I get a $25 bonus for you joining through my link, and you get $10 Toward your first purchase. It costs nothing to join. My average rebate is $150. This month on February 12th, I received $153 back. That's basically free money. There's something that I really want that is kind of an indulgence. I'll use my Rakuten cash to pay for that product. So I have $153 to shop with. It's my money. It can be used any way I want. You can get it back in a check. You can get it sent to your PayPal. You can spend it on anything you want. I'm really glad that I joined. And I think that if you join, you'll be glad too. It's free money. It's almost silly not to do it. Because if you're going to buy something anyway, why not get a rebate back? So that's my number one recommendation for saving money on your beauty products. Second way is subscription boxes. So I know right now there's a lot of drama surrounding BoxyCharm. This is not a drama channel, but it is a review channel. So I do believe that reviewing the BoxyCharm subscription service falls within the realm of my channel. So as a BoxyCharm subscriber, I was very interested in all of that drama. So I did look into it quite heavily. I'm going to show you guys what I got in the February BoxyCharm box. I got five full-size items for $49. First thing I got was the KX Active Concentrates by Kate Somerville. This is biomimicking peptides. 
that smooths and firms the skin. The claims are that within 24 hours you have a noticeable difference and within seven days you have a really noticeable difference. And it retails for about $98. So right there, I got a product that I'm gonna use and a product that I might not splurge on ordinarily. The second thing that I got in the box is the Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. I love First Aid Beauty. I'm definitely gonna use these. These are pads that help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. There's 28 pads in this little container. I think it retails for about between $18 and $20. Definitely going to use them. It's alcohol free. The thing that I got was the Glassy Balm by Touch and Soul. You guys know that I had already talked about how much I love the No Pore Blend Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. This is hydrating primer. This retails for about $32, I believe, $32 or $33. The other product that I got is Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This retails for $33. This energizes and rescues with aloe, coconut water, and probiotics. It's silicone free, and I'm definitely going to use this. The fifth item I got, I already opened it. These are three brushes from Alamore Cosmetics. They are uh, cruelty free and vegan. They are soft. These are face brushes. I love the shapes of them. I love the way they feel. And I've already used these. These retail probably for about $30. I had looked up the price of everything and the value of my box was just under $200 worth of products. And I'm gonna use every single one of them. Let's talk about whether or not they're a scam or whether they're getting over on consumers. I know that most of you have probably heard that one of the Ciate products that was used in this Boxy Charm box subscription was manufactured in China, where their regular product is manufactured in the US, and consumers felt cheated or duped. I will say that I think that if they're going to formulate or make a different formula for BoxyCharm that there should be full disclosure of that. Like when you buy something at Macy's, oftentimes you'll see a disclaimer or a disclosure that says this was made for Macy's. I've seen it at Walmart where a brand will say this product was made exclusively for Walmart. Doesn't mean that the value's not good, but it may be different than what's on their website. So I do think disclosure is important. I don't think that this is really a fault of BoxyCharm or that it diminishes the value that you get from a BoxyCharm box. I feel like I've gotten a fair return on every BoxyCharm box that I've received. If a product is not a product that I want to use, maybe it's a mascara in it, maybe I happen to have three or four mascaras currently that I'm using, or maybe it's an extra powder and I have a lot of setting powder. If it's something like that, it's, a, it's something that I don't need at that time or it doesn't match my skin type or it's not my preference, then I put it in a box and I keep that box for birthdays and Christmases and occasions. And when somebody has an event that I want to gift them, I look and see if there are any products in there that they might like. And oftentimes I can come up with, you know, five, six products that have a value of like close to $200, which would be more than I would normally spend on them. And it's items that they would like and I can gift it to them. And it's something that they'll really enjoy. So none of these products ever go to waste. It's a great way to save money on new products that you haven't discovered. It's a great way to discover products that you might not otherwise discover. I don't think you can go wrong with a subscription box. You also know, if you think about the scandal possibly associated with this, that Tarte's holiday packages are usually made in People's Republic of China. It's not the same formula that's in their traditional Amazonian clay palettes. A lot of brands do this. I don't think it's a scam. I do think that brand wants you to try their product, love it, and go out and purchase more that is in their best interest to try to give you good value and a good product that you're going to enjoy. I don't know how they'd possibly win by giving you poor quality products in the BoxyCharm box because 
even if you didn't know that it was made somewhere else, if you didn't like the product, you're not likely to buy from the brand in the future. So it's not benefiting anyone. So I don't know all what happened with that, but it's not really going to deter me from going forward with subscription boxes in the future. Now, currently this is my last boxy charm that I have. I have loved everything in this box and I'm reconsidering whether or not I want to resubscribe. The reason this was going to be my last boxy charm box was not anything to do with the hype or all of the drama related to the products. It was because sometimes I do get a lot of duplicates and my gift box is already kind of full and now that I'm you know doing YouTube in a review channel dollars need to go further and therefore I need to try to buy the products that are coming out and new and appeal to you all to let you know whether it's something you're going to want in the future and so I want to be able to pick those products with my spending dollars. The only other subscription box that I have right now is FabFitFun. I have to tell you that's my favorite subscription box. I get to customize it fully. I buy an annual membership so I really have extra additional savings on that. I'll put my referral link below if you're interested in joining FabFitFun. A combination of products. It's health, it's beauty, it's lifestyle. I can pick things for my house. I can pick things for skincare, I can pick things for beauty. Sometimes I'll pick a bag or a scarf or a hat. Sometimes I'll pick skincare. Sometimes I'll, I'll pick makeup. It's a variety of things. And not only is the value really superb, I've gotten some of my best, most expensive serums, most loved skincare products through FabFitFun. I've been introduced to a lot of brands that I would have otherwise not tried. The other thing is the FabFitFun Edit. So these subscription boxes don't just bring you value in the purchase of the box. They also bring you value because they allow you to purchase at various times additional products at severely discounted pro prices. So for example, when the FabFitFun Edit opens up, I can't wait to shop. Because it'll give you all of these lifestyle and beauty products that you can choose for. And some of them are up to 80% off. I got the Skin Authority Reviving Eye Brightener, which is regularly about $99. I think I got it for $30. Frequently, you can get beauty bakery products. How pretty. I got this at a fraction of the cost. I really like Beauty Bakery, but I find that it's a little pricey for a product that doesn't have a mirror on its palettes. I like the cause. I like what it stands for. Cashmere, the owner, you know, I like everything about her mission. Her boxing is so pretty. The colors, the quality, I think is fine. I think the boxing and, and the theme is so cute. Look at these, how pretty. Is that a great cost savings for me. The other thing I picked up is Beauty Bakery's Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. Look at these colors, how pretty. You can see I've already used them. I really like them. I think they're a little better quality than ColourPop. They're pricier than ColourPop. I can get them on FabFitFun's edit sale frequently at a very discounted rate. And to me, anytime I see them there, I'm going to pick up those products. I just recently got some Ilia lipsticks. I can't wait for those to come in. I get my Aqui headbands and turbans and bath wraps and products. Usually when FabFitFun has the edit, so normally those are about $30. And I, I can usually get them for $10 or $15. Products that I've gotten on sale is this Beauty Crop Pucker Up and Play lip set that I have showed you. Brush sets. I've gotten purses. I've gotten totes. I get my Christmas shopping done off of the FabFitFun edit sales. So it's lifestyle products, it's beauty products, it's skincare products. You can get most of your serums, your eye creams, your makeup products at severely discounted cost. But in addition, they sell handbags, they sell backpacks, they sell electronics, they sell gadgets. They I just ordered, in fact, the last edit sale, you y'all know how much I like my weighted blanket if y'all been on my channel for long. I just got the weighted eye mask. I can't wait for that to come in. A lot of my skincare devices like the LED lights, the red mask, all of uh, the rollers. A lot of those I get at discounted when FabFitFun 
has their edit sales. So I can't recommend that subscription enough. You can really do your gifting, your Christmas shopping, your self shopping for your, your own beauty products, and you can get them at such a discounted cost. Other thing is to use multitasking products. So this is just one of the hacks that I was talking about. I can take a lipstick color like this. Let's say this lipstick by Too Faced. I can use this as a lipstick. I can use it as a blush. And I can also take an eye brush. I can also use it as an eye pigment. I could use it for a one and done look. Anything that is safe to go on your lips should be safe to go in your eyes. I'm not a doctor. I mean, check it out. Use your own judgment. I love to multitask my products. Any cream can be multitasked. A lot of powders can be multitasked. My bronzer, for instance. I can use this for a bronzer. I can use it for a contour. I can use this for a highlight, but I can also use it for a complete eyeshadow look. As you can take nude palette, like this nude palette by Juvia's Place. A lot of times you can use one of these colors for blush. You can use one of these colors for a highlight shade. You can use the rest for eyeshadow. And you can also use these on your lips. I can take one of these colors like this and add the pigment. Usually I would do that before I already had lipstick on. And then I would cover it with a gloss. I can create a lot of unique looks by multitasking my products and you can save money. Nude sticks. The nude sticks are great for multitasking products. Contour. I'm not doing this precisely right now because I'm just showing you. There's a little more time on it if I was actually using it. Going with this brush. Take this, use it to highlight. I love these brushes. So multitasking products. The other thing you can multitask, another hack is to take your mascara, a little brush like this, the other hack, and dip it on your mascara wand, pick up some pigment, and use it as eyeliner. So your mascara can double as an eyeliner. That is the eyeliner that I have on today. Another hack to use mascara or brow gel to cover roots or thin spots. So I'll take a mascara. This is black. I don't have a, a brown one in here. But on my hair, because it's lighter, I'll usually use brown. See how my, my roots are, gray roots are coming in? I'll take this little one, wherever my part is, and I'll use this to cover my gray. Then, I have my hair up. Have any thin spots where you can see my scalp? I'll do the same thing and color that in. And I'll use it with the color that most matches my hair. So usually I'll use a brown. Again, I'm not doing this precisely because I'm just trying to show you as an example. But I do this a lot. And it really does work. And then if I ever want to cover my scalp a little bit, any spots, I'll take eyeshadow in a brown color and dab it in like so. I'll wait until I've fixed my hair fully so it's fixed and I'm ready to spray it and I'm just going to cover what shows and then I'm going to apply a little bit of spray so it stays like that. I mean, of course, that wasn't the best color because there's lighter, I, I really need a brown and my brown's in my bathroom. But that is a hack that I use all the time. The other hack is when you're finished, you're almost finished your product, is starting to get down to the nitty gritty, you're trying to get that last bit out. You see the seal that's right here? I will take a tweezers and I will pull that up 
and then I am able to get the rest of the product out. I will use that technique on a mascara. I will also use it on a concealer. I will pull that up with the tweezers and I will be able to get a lot more product out and make sure you're getting every last drop of the product that you pay for. Do the same thing with the lip gloss. So I'm not leaving any in the container if it's something that I like and enjoy and paid a lot for. The other money saving hack is to get samples. There's something that you really want, something that's expensive, something that you want to use for a night out and you want to look your best, you go to all the cosmetic counters that sell those brands and you ask for samples of all of those high-end products and you can have enough samples for a, a very upscale bougie night out at no cost to you. And then you can also know if any of those are worth actually spending the dollars on. So don't forget the value of samples. You can also email companies. This is a little time consuming, but if you're on a budget and you really want some nice products, send an email to a company, let them know that you really enjoy their products and ask if there's any coupons, if there's any coupon codes or if there's any samples. And a lot of times they will send you a little package of their stuff or they will send you a discount code. In the old days, we used to write letters. I uh, grew up without a lot of money, and this was a very popular way to get things. My Aunt Evelyn, bless her soul, she's gone now. But she was a writer, and so that was before the days of email. And she was trying to feed a family of seven on a very low budget. And she would write letters back then for everything, from washing powder to dish detergent to makeup to household items to food she would get so many that would just send it so it's worth a try if you are willing to take a little effort the other thing is reviews if you're willing to do a review on a product a lot of times you can get that product for free from amazon and get the product for free you just have to give your honest opinion they're not asking you to give a falsely positive opinion they're just asking you to review Amazon store is included in the description below. If you shop at that Amazon store, I do get a small commission, which helps me put money back into the channel by purchasing more products for review. However, it's a very small commission. But you can see some of the things that I repeatedly use for there. I shop the daily deals on Amazon. I always check to see what is the deal of the day. And I always steer towards known sellers before I recommend them to you, sellers that I have worked with before that are giving you the actual product, actual brands who also sell their products on Amazon. And a lot of times there'll be a coupon code that you can clip and I can get regular products that I use every day at cheaper prices and I can even find them at the drugstore and they are the real brand. Shopping at the same store over and over like Macy's or Kohl's they have most of the brands that I use there when I shop there I'll get Kohl's cash or I'll get Macy's store rewards those will build up and I can actually get products for free I just got the Stila stay all day shimmer liquid lipstick for free with my store reward points it's something that I wanted I just reviewed a product that I received for free by Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown gifted me this crushed oil infused gloss in the color Free Spirit, which is right up my alley because it's a nude. I really was curious about these, these lip glosses because I like pigmented lip glosses over lipsticks because I like a moisturized feel on my old wrinkled lips. So look how pretty this is. You open it up. It's got this doe foot applicator very high gloss they got all kinds of shades all kinds of skin loving ingredients in this so even after the color starts to fade the hydration still stays so it keeps my lips from being dry and wrinkled looking so if I had not agreed to review this for Sephora I would have not received this product for free. All they want is your honest opinion. They don't ask you to 
You can put one star. It doesn't hinder you from being able to review another product. You can put no stars. You can say it was terrible. They just want you to be honest. In this case, this, <laughs> this is wonderful. And by me being willing to write a review, I got to try a product that I really wanted. I guess this is probably in the 25 to 30 five dollar range I don't remember exactly it comes in many shades I would like to get all the shades except for maybe the darkest reds which aren't you know my go-to colors so reviewing products also allows you to save some money this this I really have to thank Bobby Brown because Fenty glass bombs was my favorite and they will always be right up there but I think these two are now neck and neck because they both feel so good on your lips and provide that wash of color that I like. Look at the shine. So I know this video is getting too long, so I'm going to wrap it up. If you're interested in having another video like this and hearing more ways to save money or more makeup hacks, please let me know in the description below. I'd love to know what you're thinking of Frugal February and what else you'd like to see. I have one more edition of Frugal February on the books, and that's my last one. I'll start a new series for March. look forward to hearing from you. Until the next video, take care and thank you for watching.